Welcome to Writing in Kindergarten. I'm Tracy Prosell. And I'm Tina Theodos. Fine motor development must come first. Asking a child with weak hand muscles to complete a handwriting page is like asking someone who can't catch a ball to play first base. It's just not going to go well. You can help your child build fine motor skills through coloring, Play-Doh, tweezers, lacing cards, salt trays, and shaving cream. Whenever your child is gripping a pencil, you can help to ensure that they have the correct pencil grip by using a cotton ball. They would hold the cotton ball in their hand and use their bottom fingers to hold the cotton ball in place while gripping their um, pencil with their, what we call pincher fingers, um, and then allowing the pencil to rest in their hand. Um, we also have a pinch and flip or a pencil. Um, pencil grips are also a good um, thing to use to reinforce po proper pencil grip. Um, we tell the kids whenever they are writing that they need to be in the Riley writing position, which um, they know whenever we say Riley writing position, that they are supposed to have their bottom to the back of the seat, their feet to the floor under their desk, and they're sitting up straight, and they slant their paper. So if they are right-handed, then they will slant their paper to the left, and if they are left-handed, then they will slant their paper to the right. The next thing is muscle memory. Uh, it's very important that the kids get used to doing the same motion over and over. We've been working with them, talking about the path of motion. So when you're working on homework with them or reviewing work, they should be telling you the path of motion and the letter sound, the letter name and then the sound. So for example, if you're doing H, we teach them start at the top, down, down, slide across, H, they're hearing it, it from us at school, and if you are practicing at home, they're getting more repetition, and that's going to help them to remember it. When We're also teaching it to them. We're saying it, they're seeing it, and then they're doing it themselves, and, and that forms their memories also. With the pencil grip, you need to, and the uh, motion, the path of motion, it's harder to fix all of that when they're older, so make sure that they're doing it correctly now before it becomes a bad habit. You might hear them talking about the different types of letters. So the chicken letters are the small letters, A, C, E, I, and M. The tall or giraffe letters, B, D, F, K. And the letters with the tail, we call those the monkey letters, the G, J, P, Q, and Y. You'll also see on their uh, writing paper that they have the highway lines, the top, the middle, and the bottom line. It's really important that they get used to touching the correct line when they're writing. Okay, Minute to Win It is something new that we've started this year. Um, the entire class will start on um, the letter of the week and they practice writing the letter across the top of the page and then they'll come to a stop sign. Um, this is done at their own pace. I walk around the room and make sure that um, they're each forming the letters correctly. Um, if not, I'll show them the correct way. Then I'll set a timer for one minute and the students race down the page as quickly as they can. Again, my focus is the path of motion. If they reach the bottom and the letters are formed correctly, they pass that letter. So that means that after a few weeks, some students may be working on G while others are working on K. My expectations may vary from one child to another. Some students may need to complete the page while others need to just do 10 correctly. Um, they also will have a punch card, and as they pass a letter, then I will punch the letter out and they move on to the next letter. Um, we've decided as a grade level that we needed a little bit more time building those fine motor skills before we started on the minute to win it. But when we do um, start on this, it will be done on Friday. You'll see homework come home either on Friday afternoon or Monday. Homework in kindergarten with the handwriting is optional. But like I said, it will be due on the next Friday. The students will have some kind of reward depending on their teacher if they do return the homework. Um, homework is not meant to punish the kids. It's just it's going to help them reinforce what we've taught all day long. It, and it, it, although it is optional, it's going to uh, help them with their educational process. It's going to also help them get in the, the habit of doing homework. So it's highly encouraged that you have them do that at home. When you're working on their handwriting homework, try to go through the path of motion with them. 
to reinforce what we've taught at school. And uh, the path of motion is written on the top of the hand worksheets so that you'll be able to know exactly what we're talking about during the day. And the kids will probably be able to do it even without you cueing them because they've heard it at school. Okay, writer's workshop. Handwriting refers to letter formation and writing is the act of communicating an idea so that others understand your message. Um, and writing doesn't always involve handwriting. Children at this stage may scribble, they may draw pictures, or they may use um, letter-like forms, but eventually they will learn to incorporate letters, words, and um, conventional spellings within sentences and paragraphs. When children are given the opportunity to write about their own topics for real audiences, they begin to see themselves as real, write, real writers, which they are. And we want writing to become something they choose to do, not something that they have to do. Uh, we will use teacher modeling, shared writing, and independent writing supported by teacher conferences. Our goal is to help children love writing, to deepen their understanding of it, and to promote writing outside the classroom. There will be many stages of writing that you will see your child go through. Um, right now we are writing with pictures, but that will move on into writing with sentences and then stories and um, narratives. Then they will begin writing opinions, um, persuasion writings, and then building using imagination, and then eventually go into um, writing for information. Um, as I said, it's progressive. It starts with scribbles and pictures and moves to labeling and uh, writing hopefully writing sentences, and by the end of the year, they should be writing a paragraph. Report card standards. Um, this is something new that they're doing this year um, as far as a report card goes, but what they'll be looking for is write, can your child write in a complete sentence using proper capitalization, punctuation, and spacing? Um, does your child use proper grammar when writing or speaking? which includes nouns, verbs, and prepositions, um, uses writing, drawing, and dictation to write for different purposes. As you can see a three, um, if your child receives a three on their report card, then that means that they have met the standard. Two needs improvement, and one is well below the standard. We hope you have enjoyed our presentation, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your teacher to set up a conference. Have a great day.